Try playing Red and Blue today. Just try it. Sure, it'll feel nostalgic for a while, but then you'll miss being able to register your favorite items to a handy menu. You miss the balance that came from the introduction of Dark and Steel types, thus weakening the psychic hegemony, and the divorce of attack type from physical or special categories. You'll miss being able to use Strength or Cut or Serve without having to go into your party menu. And if I ever play a previous generation of the game, I'm gonna miss the Habitat mode in Black and White 2's Pokedex. A couple button presses and you've got a list of every creature you've found in a given area, as well as whether you've caught them all or not. There's always a new feature to add, there's always something to streamline, and there's always a new opponent. And you're always trying to be the very best, like no one ever was, except you, countless times before. There's a black 2 and a white 2 because this isn't just a remake of black and white, it's a genuine sequel. Team Plasma is in shambles but starting to cause trouble again. Bianca has embraced her inner Meganico and is helping Professor Juniper with field study. And thanks to their efforts, you can now find a number of decidedly old school species, 144 to be exact, mingled amongst the 156 creatures that Generation 5 introduced. Both versions feature a new ANOVA link system, which allows you to import a save file from your previous game via a DS wireless connection or by downloading it from the global link. Depending on your progress, you may unlock flashback sequences detailing events from the two-year gap between the games. There's also a new key system where players who have completed certain in-game goals can unlock new areas and, in a first for the series, new difficulty settings for other players. The Entra Link has been redesigned as well, replacing the old missions with new co-op challenges that can be undertaken alone but yield greater rewards in a group. Man, discussing connectivity is exhausting. Movie break! If you're not the kind for puffin swirling or musicals or beauty pageants, you can still make it big on the silver screen through the power of movie magic. Or as we like to call it, post-production. The actual battle you're filming takes place on a green screen set where you have a script to follow and... Yes, that is creepy dollhouse enthusiast Sabrina starring opposite you. Of course, as Drew Carey and or Bill Murray can tell you, sometimes you need to go off script and improv a bit. Speaking of gym leaders, they're not content to rest on their laurels and are constantly putting it to the test in the Pokemon World Tournament, a venue featuring eight-man elimination tournaments spanning standard, double, triple, and rotation battles. Almost every gym leader makes an appearance, including Anova newcomers Marlin, Roxy, and Sharon. Yes, that guy from the last game. You can even download updated rosters featuring the teams of real-world Pokemon champions and dream teams from the series past. Let's face it, jamming an exhaustive list of everything else that's changed or improved in this version into the remainder of this review would be a right pain in the bum as, and you may have come to this conclusion already, there's a heck of a lot of new stuff. You get to build your own mall, occupied by folks you've met online. There are a number of new towns and routes, as well as a dude loitering about the Pokemon centers of the world just to hand you achievement medals. Honestly, there's an achievement for scamming a free lemonade out of a vending machine. And I haven't even discussed the AR-focused Dream Radar application for the 3DS, but that's going to be its own feature. One of the most dangerous aspects of Pokémon seems to be that every version feels like the definitive version, with features that continue the trend of marked improvement time and again. Not only do Black and White 2 make this litany of upgrades, but they do so as a continuation of their predecessor's plot, as opposed to just a retelling. Wring your hands about the original 151 as much as you want. I'll be having actual fun over here with a Magnemite, just for you.